this beginner-friendly tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a hyper-realistic cap mock-up using your 2D designs. We will be using Blender, which is completely free software. Start by heading over to blender.org.download the correct version for your system. Next, go to the source files link in the description of this video. Download the 3D cap mockup. Open the download folder and you will see two Photoshop files. Open the place logo here Photoshop file. You will be presented with different sections of a hat spread across a page. They are all clearly labeled. Hide the information layer and place your designs in the position you would like them to show on the mockup. Hide the position guide and save the document. Go back to the download folder and open the other Photoshop document titled Place White Version of Logo Here. You will be presented with a blank document. Go back to the logo document. Left click one of your logos and then hold down shift and left click the other logos. If you have done this correctly, you will see all of the logos selected in the layers panel. Next, press Ctrl plus C if you are on PC or Command plus C if you are on Mac. Head back over the the blank document. Press Shift plus Ctrl plus V to paste your logos in the same place as they were in the other document. As you can now see if you switch between the documents, your logos are in identical positions. This is important. Next, select the background to deselect all of your logos. Now select one of your logos, go to FX and then Color Overlay and choose white. Do the same for all of the logos you have on your document. Perfect. Go to File and save your document. Go back to the Download folder and open the Blender file titled cap.blend you will be presented with a blank hat. Before we view your designs, let's change some settings in Blender. Go to Edit and then Preferences and select your GPU. If you don't have one, you can left the settings as default. Next, select this icon and change Render Engine to Cycles and Device to GPU Compute. If you don't have an option for GPU Compute, you can leave it as default. Now, select this icon to preview your designs on the mockup. You can scroll through the timeline to view your designs on different parts of the hat. Over on the right, you will see a list of different sections of the hat. Select one of the sections to change its color. You can select this bar if you'd like to input some specific color values. If you'd like to change your designs, simply go back to the Photoshop file with your color logos on and make the change. Repeat the process we did before copying and pasting the designs into the white Photoshop file. Delete the old version and add a white color overlay to the new version. Save the files.
Go back to Blender and select these two icons to refresh your design. Up in the top right-hand corner, you have a list of cameras. The default camera will show a horizontal view of the hat. The other options are close up or from above. You can change the resolution of your animation here. A lower resolution will speed up your render time. You can change your render samples here. A lower number of samples means faster rendering. Higher samples means better quality. Select this icon and choose a folder to render your animation to. If you would like to export as video, change file format to FFmpeg and encoding to MPEG4. Finally, press Render and then Render Animation and watch as your computer creates an incredible detailed animation, showing off your 2D designs in 3D. Make sure to wait until all 150 frames have finished rendering before closing the window. You can use this animation to market your clothing brand and increase sales. If this video has provided value to you, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing.